My tip today, Martin, is to stop giving free estimates and to start getting paid for proposals. Um, over my 18 years in this business, um, I have spent probably thousands of hours uh, meeting with potential clients, visiting sites, and a bulk of those hours have been spent in the office developing that free estimate. Um, now in my market, uh, when we were bidding projects, there would be on average three to five bidders, sometimes a couple more. Um, so your chances aren't great. And a lot of times the client already kind of knows who they want or maybe the, a couple guys they want. So there could be a handful of bidders that are just spinning their wheels to keep the other contractors pricing in check. Um, so if we were lucky enough to get to the point where the client said, hey, we want to continue negotiating with you. Um, it's between you and one other uh, builder. Um, but we have a problem. Our price, uh, the pricing's over budget. Um, and then they would come back to us and the other builder and ask everybody to value engineer their pricing. So essentially they're asking you to continue to work for free with no guarantee of the job. Think about that. Um, that didn't sit well with me. I got very, very exhausted by that broken system. Um, and when you start to realize that your time is money, it's actually costing you money to develop that free estimate. Um, so about a year and a half ago, we stopped bidding jobs and um, started to develop a pre-construction services that we can talk about um, at another time. But I think it's important to understand the difference between an estimate and a proposal. Um, an estimate is just that, right? It's a calculation. Um, if a client is asking you for an estimate, they should be able to give you um, a general scope of work, right? Um, and then you can apply your experience um, and give them a budget range. And that doesn't mean a formal uh, estimate typed up. You can do that over the phone, um, over an email. Uh, perhaps it takes an hour, two hours of your time to develop that. Um, now a proposal is much different. A proposal you can develop when you have um, you know, proper detailed drawings, um, specifications, you've spent numerous um, hours and meetings with the client, the architect, perhaps the designer. Um, so your, I think your ideal client, and, and this is what we have found, our ideal client um, is willing to pay you for your time and experience to develop that budget and that proposal um, because it ensures their project will be successful. They will understand that. Um, so my advice is to stop giving free estimates, start getting paid for proposals, and to focus on the clients that will value your services.